Voilà ici. Alors Donc, Bafo. Hello? Hello, guys. Yeah, can you hear me? That is why this is living in Nigeria. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear, I can hear you. I bet put off that noise at the background. Sorry, I think it was network. Oh now. The person says she has not done anything. Wait, why are we disturbing ourselves? Well, she just wants a guide. What do we do? What do guide like this? Uh, don't need to wait. I'm able to say that the topic itself does it. Uh... Hello, guys. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. You must have agreed with your supervisor, and otherwise, we'll be doing topic selection work for them. No, she's she has agreed with us for ISO now, so she says for ISO has since approved my topic. Uh -huh. So, uh, so we are not going to discuss how suitable the topic is because once you start changing something about their topic, she will, you know, this that she'll go and miss for ISO and say, ah, they even say my topic is not good. No, we are not changing uh -huh. topic, it's just to uh, your topic approved to give you guide what you can do. I saw. Uh, but what, 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 what we'll, major thing we'll tell her is to read. Because if people are not ready, they just want to pick uh, your brains. The first most important thing for anybody that's coming to us is they have done something. Yeah. And they have I, I think she has been working on the on the topic. She just did clarification according to her. But I remember there was a guy I spoke with last week when he was disturbing me and all of that. I find out that that is... Uh, is uh, what is doing self gone? Is even a UI student? Okay. Uh, says, anybody that sees your background, anybody that sees your background, they will think that you are enjoying. They don't know say they suffer. You don't know where I am now. The thing I'm like you, I'm on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me see yourself. Don't let me see yourself. Or... I will not leave. If I'm jealous, let me know. You are living a virtual life. <laughs> let me be square, sing songs, say all these things you are seeing on Facebook and they are audio. <laughs> Where I am, you won't understand. So the guy was doing, I, I met a guy that was working on. It's in UI, and in fact, he even said that his supervisor was Professor Guakide. And he said he was doing something. I spoke with him last week to say uh, he's doing something on evaluating UBE. UBE. And I was like, what kind of PhD topic is that? But I didn't want to say that word. That is about is to look at UBE, uh, the money spent and uh, the money that have been released or something on about something like evaluation of UBE program. And I said, ah, that is that is serious evaluation. I don't know whether that can be possible because if you go to the UBE office, will they give you how much they've spent? And then you must then begin to know what is their goal and then go to the field to look at the outcome of what you can see in terms of classroom quality, uh, staff welfare about that outcome that they've set out to achieve in the in the program and then use the money that they have released to be able to gauge what they have done or something except that we are not going to do that survey to look at different schools of UB and come up with policy then I said if you just sit down in your office I say you are collecting data and you are running regression I said I don't think that can be I'm just thinking in my mind so I think you should go and think through what you want to do first before we talk or something Okay, that's fine. Because so that you won't, yeah, I'm not ready to change somebody's topic if this wise has agreed with you. It's just to say if you are interested in, we can give you a guide. If you are telling somebody you want to do UB, UB, if I said, I said, because that is almost like a work done by people who are doing monitoring evaluation. So if you want to do it as a thesis, will you get that data? I said it's, uh, you know, so I think it's. Uh, 
What do you want to use that one for? You be. I don't understand the PHTC and it's economics department. It's your department now. So these days people are looking for just whatever thing to do. Okay, I think I was uh, uh, she has joined. Her name is Beatrice, if I'm not mistaken about the name. Beatrice, can you hear us? Oh, you see our, our, our audio is still connected. I'm sure she's in uh, I can't even remember where she is. Can you hear us? Hello, good morning, bro. Yeah, can good you morning, hear Good morning, bro. Morning, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. I can hear you. Okay, so just uh, tell us, uh, you are in what university? University of Ibadan. Oh, University of Ibadan. What department? Economics. Oh. And you said you have agreed with your topic with your supervisor, right? Yes, Prof. Okay, just just can, can you speak to us in on this meeting is Dr. Afalabolo Okere, my very good friend. Uh, okay. Just in one or two minutes, your topic is um the also gender, gender, financial literacy, and all of that. Just speak to us what you what what you are thinking about so that we can then give you a guide. Okay. I Ah, about the network, don't start to. I want about. No wonder she took time to to join. Doctor Fo, can you hear me? I think she has been kicked out. Maybe you are on top okay. of. Okay, are you okay? okay. I'm in now, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So the topic I I have is a gender comparison of financial literacy mm -hmm. and inclusion, not yet, and inclusion okay. in Nigeria. So, uh -huh. so what what I intend to look at is the fact that the women folk have less presence in the use of financial services. And from the little I have read, not much, there's a lot of financial inclusion already, but the gender gap has not been sufficiently addressed. So that's what is uh, inspiring me to look at this topic. Okay, uh, Dr. Afo, you want to say something? I think she's still speaking. I just want to know the depth of uh, what she has done. You know? So can you tell us what, I mean, what, what, she, what she just said now can be said by anybody who is not doing PhD. So uh, yes, like I, I said in my email to the prof, uh, I have not really done anything significant on it. I'm still at the level of gathering the literature. So I I can even say clearly that what I even want to do is not so clear to me yet because I'm still searching the literature. But this is the topic that my supervisor approved for me to do. Dr. Afo. Hello, I okay, so Yes, I can, we can hear you. Okay. So, so, so I saw um approved, but was it your? Uh, is it something you like to do, or you know, or because you are the you know, women like to be talking about gender, gender issues? Is, <laughs> is it because? Is it because so I saw or you also? What do you think? What's the motive? What What's your motivation really? Okay, the background, the background to to this selection of this topic is this. It was something else entirely I set out to do. But we, the supervisor and I agreed on something else initially to do. And it is supposed to be on a grant for the health sector. Wanted to do something to, that we can marry both uh, public sector and health economics. So I wanted to look at that. but. I went in search of 
the data and because he wanted it to be basically a primary study, but the data wasn't just available. So then along the line, he now said that somebody sent him this uh, data set on a thinner survey. So he now said, well, since we have spent quite some time trying to chase the original uh, idea I had of wedding succeeding, that I should see if I could build a topic around this uh, data set, since the data set is already available. Somebody sent it to him and said if his students would need the, the data set they can use. So he, he suggested it to me that, well, this is something that somebody sent to him since it's available. If I can build a topic around it, then we can just do something. So that was that's the background to this topic. Okay, so that's great. So the data set that you have, um, yes, sir. Is it the um, data or SSS? What, what kind of data set? Sorry, sir, I didn't get you. Is it the, is it the survey data? Is it the yes, sir? Uh, it's the survey data. How many, how many respondents are there? Um, about 23. I don't remember exactly now. Well, is it in SPSS or is in uh is in uh what software is it that is that in? It's in SPSS. Oh. It's coded in SPSS. Okay, so is um is is it the uh, 2020 survey? Yes, I have assessed that of uh, 2020, 2018. This is done every two years. Yeah, I'm saying the 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 raw data that you have. Is it the is it the 2020 or 20 which I have year? 2020, I have 2028. I mean 2018. No, 2018. What I did, they just sent what they sent is a link that can help you download for any any of the years you want. Okay, okay. But I know the latest they have is 2020. So I've already downloaded 2020 and the 2018. Okay. But I know so, there are previous, there are some that were done previously. Okay. Okay. So just um okay, so those are just few questions for for the start. You say uh you, you want to be so this topic is more or less like data driven because data is available. So you want to be, because you already have access to the data, you think um, you think you can uh, you can have so 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 for instance, if you look at uh, Athena in twenty twenty, for instance, uh, only about um, uh, thirty two percent of males are excluded, or forty percent of females are excluded. Is, is that a substantial uh, justification for research work? And for what you have done for other places, and that's why you reading will be very important. What is the disparity in other part of the world, right? That then makes you to say, is, is it a special thing in Nigeria that um, I mean, Nigeria is uh, 32 to 40, 32, 32 percent of males excluded, that's 40 percent of females excluded. So, how substantial is that for to justify your work, especially given that? Um, you also want to compare with uh, what happens in other. So, so my, my point is, I would have loved you to, which, which will not take you more than a week anyway. So, if you already have a PhD or title, my, I would have tried to even tabulate uh, the financial inclusion for different countries around the world uh, and then see male and female disparity and then see whether our own in Nigeria is. Uh, is an outlier. I mean, okay. I, I, would, you know, I would like to see that first because um, there is a tendency to always uh, looking for gaps even when they are not there. Okay. And, and they even call one percent or two percent a gap. You know, so you you want to you want to be able to establish that um, in other part of the world. Um, well, there are, there are many gaps. Definitely, there will be gaps in anything. But 
Except you are saying Nigerian, Nigeria's gap is so pronounced uh, that uh, it now warrants a kind of a study for, for, for it. And you you also you also have, because you said you uh, gender comparison of financial literacy and uh, and inclusion. I, I'm sure by the time you you are you continue to work, your supervisor may still ask you to tweak your topic. Because if it's just gender comparison, it's just yeah. uh, it's not gender comparison in terms of the determinants. It's, a, it's your gender, your gender comparison is just to say uh, how many males, how many females, that's all. So are, are you, when you are stating your objectives, I don't know whether you are also interested in why the disparity, right? Yes. So if, if you are able to establish the disparity, or are there factors that make um, males to be included that uh, also preclude female from being included, which is more or less like a, a kind of a logic regression kind of that tells you what factors predict the likelihood of somebody being included and whether those factors are different across gender. Yeah, that, that would okay. be interesting. But, I, but I'm thinking you literature will be a very good guidance. Uh, beyond what we can say here. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe uh, Professor Bai will provide for that guidance, but maybe next time you are talking to us. Yes, sir. I've read, I've read this, I've seen this, people have done this, they've done this, they've done this. This is what I'm thinking. Somebody can then say, why don't you also think like this? So there must have been an initial thinking in terms of direction you want to follow. And most of those directions, um, what we pick from books are far more than what you just pick from mere discussions, because in the books there would have been hundreds of perspectives, evidences here and there that can shape your idea. So your work can just be uh, what factors determine financial inclusion, or rather, pandemic, what factors differentiate financial inclusion between male and female. Your father can then be, uh, you know, quite a number of of things and uh, that you can see in the literature because just a gender comparison of financial inclusion, we have not hit it, we have not hit the objective on the male because gender comparison is just as you can even see in the report of uh, uh, yes, sir. forty percent of female I mean fifty one percent of males are into uh, uh, what's it called former six uh, percent into non bank twelve percent into informal. But when it comes to female, 39% uh, of female are into former. So you may later see come back and say your financial inclusion is even by what type? Is it, is it inclusion in the former financial system or informal financial system or non bank formal financial system? Because some of these are issues. When you read this, when you read that, you can shape your ideas. And when you shape your ideas, then it will be easy to now start saying, okay. Uh, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, what was it called? Uh, let's start looking at uh, whatever it is. So, and, and there are quite a number of information that you can get, as you know. Um, your, what's it called? Your, 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 your FNI is there. The World Bank has a fin, FinDEC, you know, they have a FinDEX, right? FinDEX database of the World Bank is also there. Yes, sir. And then some other uh, supply side inclusion uh, data in terms of uh, ownership of uh, accounts and the rest that we can get from banks and central banks or NIPs. So those are my initial what are about for now. Uh, as we are speaking now, I can, if I see, I can talk on this particular uh, mail, the paper on this kind of things that uh, was done by the for me and Professor Ajakai a long time ago. But Professor Bias, please, you can go on. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So, Beatrice, uh, uh, thanks for uh, Dr. Afro for that, for those comments. You know, immediately she finished talking, even when I saw the topic, I, first thing that came to my mind is, uh, can, you, can you hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. I can you. hear you very but, well, sir. So the first thing that came to my mind is that if you just want to do gender comparison, right, which the yes, report already has, so what then is need for, for us to do a thesis? So that's the first thing that come to my mind. As it's even speaking now, because that was the first okay. one I saw it, because the FINA report is enough to show us that for social percent is male, social percent is excluded by female or something. But what probably do is to tabulate that data, right? Because the data will tell you a lot of information okay. around the dynamics of the exclusion, right? And 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 if that exclusion is there, which is already established, right, in terms of disparity across gender. And by the way, when you are writing. Or when you are thinking about this topic, don't don't focus on you know when female people write anything about gender, it's always it's always uh, what we call a uh, feminism kind of thought. You know this is a, a thesis, right? So you don't know yet. So yes, so be the yes. objective and be at the middle ground to be able to push through your problem statement. So my point is that so you you should be thinking beyond just looking at the gender disparity in terms of in terms of financial inclusion. Your concern then will not be because the disparity already has been established. What factors drives, you know, inclusion by female or by male? It can be something you are interested in. So, what are the because the factor that drives what brings inclusion by male? Several reasons my 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 big reason why those factors are happening, and because you already you have this data already, I will also think that you think look through the data, except because sometimes if you look at these factors also. The data you have might not capture this factor, right? So if you are thinking about the factors that explain the disparity across male and female, That's right? Fine. Then, then, and it can also be it can also be beyond male and female. That's why sometimes you might recast the topic, which can be across regions. For instance, the northern region and and the southern region or something, right? Reason for exclusion differ. Factors differ across both. So my point is that tabulate the data, take a critical look at. <laughs> Have in the in the survey because that would make you to know whether the factors that you are even thinking about by literature are captured. So first is go to the literature, let the literature guide you on 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 what factors drives financial inclusion, what factors drives financial literacy, right? And this fact, you will now go back to the to the data yes, you have whether this database captured these factors, and then think through. Uh, whether if if it does not, it then implies that you might need to probably do a further studies or survey using this their database or the data provided to serve as your background and problem statement. But you now need to now do a proper survey to now begin to understand the dynamics or the reasons why why we have this disparity. So one thing is to think through the, the drivers that makes the disparity across male and female or probably across the regions, which are, which is something that is doable. But the other thing I'm also thinking in my mind is to say, does financial literacy, you know, by the, the level of financial literacy, does it does it have influence on your inclusion level? Because I'm looking at your topic, because the level of literacy can also be factors that, that might influence somebody to be included or not, right? So is this something to, but I'm thinking that that would just even be one of the drivers of inclusion, right? So yes, an objective to look at it as, as as one of the drivers of financial inclusion by male female can be can be level of literacy across them, which can be one objective to look at. But the other objective is to look at the general because it's a survey. You can look at the different factors that influence inclusion and at the same time influence financial literacy. And you can also look at it from to say another thing that I'm thinking that you can also look at uh, and, uh, is 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 to say, uh, for instance, you started by mentioning the different financial. Uh, services provided, right? ATM, POS, or any of these financial, or having an account in a bank, or or even trying to deal with non-financial institutions, former financial institutions. Maybe what factors also drive that can be something that you can think about, right? Which is to say, people have been people using, I mean, have, uh, making use of or opening account or or having account in bank as against those that use. The, the the digital platforms, right, that we have. Or we can even any of this money point or any of these things that are coming up that we have. What factors explains their use of either going to a former bank to open an account and have a, a, a literacy there or I mean, being included there or using the digital platform as a way of inclusion? What factors explain the disparity among these, these two can be something that you can think about. So my point is that one objective is which still lies back to you taking to read a literature before, 
take a, a proper survey of the literature first before you conclude, which is that financial inclusion can be by by inclusion can be depending on the data, can be by former bank or not former bank. It can also be by somebody being included because it's involved in, in, in digital platforms like POS, ATM, or even any of these uh, fintech fintech providers. And because of that, that can so so they are the level of inclusion can be influenced by 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 any of the of the of the, of the services which can be bank for, for instance somebody going to a bank is still see the old bank but the same person can have an account with a money point or or any of these new new financial business that are coming up so there can be a reason why this is happening and that can be something to look into across male or female or something but like he has said you probably need to look through to say this topic do i need to retwist it and that will be a function of you taking to look at the the, the data and then looking at the literature to guide you. The other point I want to also mention here is that, which is another thing that is doing that I've mentioned, is that this disparity exists. Can we have different factors explaining it across male and female? Is this something to look at? And that's also another thing that you can think about. Let me stop here. And then, yes, sir. If you have any comments, then we can let it off from there. Okay, sir. Maybe what I would do is to is really go back and look into the literature like you have just recommended. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. I, in fact, there, there's one paper that Dr. Falabi has even posted on the platform. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have downloaded it. Okay. Yes, sir. So I will, I will go back to look at the literature and establish all these points that you have made. I don't know if this recorded can be sent to me. Definitely, I will do that. So, okay. what, so what we do is that first go to the literature. People would have done a lot of things around financial inclusion, financial literacy, right? You already have the yes, From do a proper review of the literature to identify the areas of gap that you can look at. Maybe they've not looked at financial inclusion from, from male and female dimensions and what factors drive it. Your, so your point is not yes. just to establish whether there's exclusion. That one is already done by FINA, right? But another thing yes. to also make it that when you have read the literature also, read thoroughly the different uh, report by FINA. It will also guide them on the researchable areas that, that their, their report cannot capture. That's also another thing to look into. So when you have done that, when you have read the literature, the literature will guide you on what areas of gap that you could look into around the, the link of financial literature and financial inclusion in the gender perspective, if your interest is in gender, right? And then from there, yes. you can now think through this. Okay, this data, does it capture this issue I'm thinking about in terms of the factors or determinant of financial inclusion across male and female from gender perspective? Do they capture it? If it does not, do, we, do you now need to do a different survey? So that thinking through will now make it to situate your topic within the gap and then proceed from there, right? And that is so, so important. Okay, sir. And then, oh, and Robert, when, can you yeah. allow me to share? Right. Can you allow me to share my screen? I want to show something. Okay. Let me um so as to You can share. Okay, thank you. So this is the, so what I'm sharing was a presentation I made. So can you see my screen? Yeah, it's coming up. Yes, I can see it now. Okay, so it's just something that I was talking to some persons on on an aspect of financial inclusion. Sometimes last year. So uh, but, but this is what I want to look at. Maybe it can also guide you. Um, so there are phases of financial inclusion. The, the smallest is payment, and the highest is investment. Okay, sir. What FINA does is in savings, in this okay. FINA stores, FINA stores in credit. Okay. Um, there was a time about uh, four years ago, I, if I remember it me right, or five years ago, I was, I was okay. 
I was in a meeting with some persons that are left in her, trying to tell them that they should move up the ladder. So they, they tried to, but sometimes the kind of result they have are not very consistent because of uh, the nature of other, uh, other, other investments, whatever, whatever. So, I mean, other financial institutions. So, if there are data that you have, because they are actually adding more to it, they are trying to see whether insurance, whether other things are there. If there are data that you have, can do okay. some more than you may also want. So, payment, anybody can do payment. Um, it's just okay. so use the POS or use your uh, deposit your money anywhere. People can do payment. You don't need to have an account to do payment. Uh, you then in financial inclusion, you then move to savings. So you you do payments, you open an account, a savings account, then you move to ability to borrow. It's when you start borrowing that you start talking about insurance. You know, you have a mass low hierarchy of need. You don't if you don't do all these things, you don't do insure, you don't start insuring what you have. It's another level of financial inclusion. Um, you must insure what you have before you start thinking about the future, which is pension, our savings against future. Then investment is uh, people that have what you don't consume, what you don't put against the future is what you invest. So uh, the reason why financial inclusion Nigeria is skewed towards payment savings and credit is because central bank is the one they are heading financial inclusion and is the regulator in payment savings and credit. Okay. Icon, is, Icon is in insurance, Pencom is in pension, Secret and Legend Commission is in investment. So if the data you have can allow you to know the disparity, you know, that, that's your level of inclusion. If you want to put gender, you want to see what happens to male as against female. That's the disparity. So what yes, the disparity sir. in payments, how large is it compared to in savings, in credit, in insurance, in pension, and in investment? You can then see where males are disproportionately higher than female, or vice versa. But you may not have all the data okay. to look at financial, but it's important for you to have at the back of your mind that financial inclusion is not just having a savings account. And that's why for FINA, they would like to do, as you rightly pointed out, uh, FINA would like to do, um, what's this thing called? Um, So FINA would like to do um, what happens to people that are in the banking sector and what happens to the people that are not in non-banking sector but former and then in the informal sector. So and for everything that I've shown to you, there can be those both former and informal of Former and informal of yes. former and informal of savings, former and informal of credit, former and informal. So those are the kind of nuances. But as Professor Price mentioned, reading is the is the major. There are so many issues. But you know, as the PAD work is not to do a lot, few things, but in a very deep way. We have said a lot now, just crashing service of a wide expanse of land. But your PAD is a small area to be deep. Uh, you may just consider something very small. Very small in terms of uh, maybe female even have because if you come back from this work and you tell us that female male are more financially included than female, uh, if I were to be person give you PA, P, PAD, I, I will not give you. I will even withdraw your master's certificate. Well, that's that's known already. So what are you going to tell me? I say you are able to come and say hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I, I think she's frozen. Though. It's an effort. Just speak, she will get the video. Okay, so I said you are able to do something very innovative, not to come back and say, uh, we are finding out that 50% uh, of male are financial included, and 
45, 20% of female are financially included. Uh, as Bright said, that's already said by Efina. So if, uh, my point before you went is that if all you can show us at the end of your thesis is that uh, more, males are more financially included than females. You have not said anything. That's or, true. Or, or, or you come back to tell us that, uh, uh, okay, well, if you say I've not said anything, now I have something to say. What is that? Uh, males are more financially literate. That is why they are more financially included. Even me, I've not done that study. I'm saying it already. So it's not hmm. really something that. I said you are able to show me that. Something that we can't see. Maybe females are using their male folks to save. Maybe some of the male money that males are even saving belong to their wives. It's just because they are putting forward a common front as a home. Maybe females have other means of financially inclusion, financial inclusion. Maybe they do more of informal than males. And those informal, one way or the other, are still formalized. Uh, maybe when those, so quite a number of uh, very interesting things you can. But you see, some of these things that we are saying, if you don't read, if you don't see, okay, let me give you a good example. I'm doing a work recently on demonetization. This is uh, currency we decide. And, yes, and I was studying uh, India. It was found out that when, when you force people to do to come to online banking because you want to do financial uh, redesign of the currency, people will rather do they will rather go to what they are familiar with, which is trade by butter. So people they find out that they are committed where people are now doing trade by butter, and they forgot about being the same instead of going to do online banking, I rather do trade by butter because they were also considering conversion what they are. Uh, what they are familiar with and things like that. Because I'm sure you will come back later and say education level is higher in male. Uh, males have higher income. Uh, males are, they travel more. Therefore, and they are more financially treated. Therefore, they have, they have, they are more financially included than female. It's pretty straightforward. It does, I, mean, I don't see any philosophy in that. I mean, it's philosophical, but it's what we already know. We don't need to do a PAD work to know that one. What we will need from you is read and see what, is, what, what new thing, what can be interesting that you want to put. What hypothesis? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's the right word. What hypothesis do you want to test? Okay. Not, not to test hypothesis of more male and more financially educated than female. No. What interesting hypothesis would you like to test in your uh, that's why it's called a thesis. So, what hypothesis you want to test in your thesis? Okay. Uh, and what 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 knowledge are you bringing? So, I I believe when you read and uh, you do a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor Afo. So, uh, Madam, I, I I guess that you got all the points. Read. On yes, sir. Part. Yes, sir. And then when you get the clarity of what you want to do as what we are provided, I will provide this video to you also, and then you can. You can then come back for us to have another section after you have read and okay. you have some thoughts together. Okay, sir. Yeah. So once I have done that, I, I will send you an email. So yes, that you, can, you, can you can send me a WhatsApp message also, then we'll okay. see what we can do. Okay, sir. Yeah. All right, sir. Yeah, take care. I'm really very grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Dr. Lowo Kerry. I'm grateful. Dr. Afo, thank You're you. Welcome. And thanks. Thank you for having me. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.